This short video will take you through how to complete a mixed expense claim within Agresso. Ideally, this will be minimal as you should be using Click Travel and your decal card for the majority of your non-mileage expenses. Once you've logged into Agresso, you'll be presented with the landing page and a list of options within the toolbar down the left hand side of the screen. To start an expense claim, click on the Expenses tab within the left hand toolbar. This will be the second option down. Then choose the Travel Expenses option to begin a claim for an expense. On the next screen, you will need to complete the following fields. Status. Leave this as draft for now while you input all the claim details. Resource. This will automatically be populated with your name and employee number. Travel type. Use the drop down menu to select the type of travel expense you wish to claim. Use expenses all for a mixed claim. Expenses company car allowance is for legacy anchor expense procedures. Purpose. Provide a short description of the purpose of this claim. For example, mileage and expenses for August. Comments. Enter the dates you are claiming between, for example, the 1st to the 31st of August. Once you have filled in all these fields, click on Next Step. You will notice that the Travel tab has been disabled. This is because any travel should be booked through Click Travel. On the next screen, click on Add to enter the details of the expense claim. This will then generate options in the box below. Use the Expense Type drop-down menu and select which type of expense you're claiming for. Let's use the example here of claiming for some mileage where you receive a car allowance. If you're not sure on what mileage rate you should be claiming and therefore which expense type to complete, please contact your line manager. We will select Private Mileage with Allowance from the list and you will then need to complete the following fields. Description. This should be completed in the format detailed in the description box, for example, 5th of August 2019, Bristol to Bradford. Team meeting. Home to office. Number stroke race. This needs to be completed for mileage expenses and is the number of miles you are claiming for. In this example, we will use 210. Date. The date the journey was made. The rate and amount boxes will be pre-populated for you and can't be changed. You will also notice that your expense line in the box above automatically updates. This also applies to any of the boxes not mentioned above. Once you've entered all the information required, you can either add another line of expenses by clicking on the Add button or move on to the next page. Let's add another line for an additional expenses claim. This time, we're going to claim for a parking fee. From the Expense Type drop-down menu, choose Travel, Car Parking, Private Vehicle. You will then need to add the journey details, date to, from, purpose, and office to office or home to office as before. Select the date, and then put in the amount. You now have two expenses to submit, a mileage claim and a parking fee. If you can't find the correct code or description in the expense type drop-down list, then speak to your line manager to discuss this as they need to agree what it should be coded to. Now select Next Step. This will bring you to the summary page. Because you have submitted a mixed claim, you must also submit receipts for non-mileage expenses. In order to submit your completed claim, you will firstly need to save your claim. If you select the Save option at the bottom, a pop-up screen will tell you what your expense claim transaction number is. Make a note of this. Once you have saved your draft, close the pop-up box with the claim number in it, and you are then able to make a copy of the summary page. Select the Print Preview option.
you will need to select the option that is appropriate to your system setup. Option one, once your summary page is open, use the menu on the top left corner, select file and then print. From the printer options in the dialog box, select Microsoft Print to PDF and then print. Select where you want to save your PDF copy and give your file a suitable name, then click save. Option two, once your summary page is open, select the print screen key on your keyboard then open a blank Word document and right click and select paste from the options. You can then save this file. Once you have saved the form, you will need to send it along with your scanned receipts to your line manager for them to approve and send to finance. Please ensure you've included the transaction number and the subject of your email to your line manager. Remember, you will need to do this if you, have, if you have to attach and send receipts. You do not need to provide fuel receipts for mileage claims. Please note, you will need to keep receipts for any other expenses you are claiming for two years. You will now need to submit your claim for approval in Agresso. Select the status drop-down list and change to ready. Click save. This will now submit your mileage expenses claim for line manager approval. If your line manager has approved your claim, payment will be made into your bank account. If your line manager rejects your claim, you will receive an email notification and you will need to log back into Agresso and see why, and then amend your claim as necessary. If you have submitted an expense claim containing a line for zero, your claim will be rejected and you will receive an email notification. You will have a notification here if an expense claim has been rejected. To amend your claim, open the claim and then click on next step to amend the expense line that is incorrect. It is the same process as before, but instead of adding a new expense, just change or delete the line that has been rejected. In this example, we will change the expense type to car allowance. We will also need to re-import the description. Click next step and then click save to keep your changes. This will automatically resend to your line manager for approval.